The first trailer and poster have been released for the much-anticipated adaptation of Stephen King's classic novel, It. When children begin to disappear in the town of Derry, Maine, a group of young kids are faced with their biggest fears when they square off against an evil clown named Pennywise, whose history of murder and violence dates back for centuries. Directed by Mama's Andreas Muschietti, the movie stars Bill Skar Skarsgård as Pennywise, along with Midnight Special's Jaden Lieberher and Stranger Things film Finn Wolfhard. The movie is set to hit theaters on September 8th later this year. Mark, what do you think of the new poster and trailer for it? Well, let's talk about the. Are you watching the trailer live? No, it came up. As we, <laughs> like, we got this news that the trailer was going to drop, and so I was like, "Oh, sweet!" And I was in line getting my morning coffee at Hooters, and I looked at the poster <laughs> on my phone, and I was just like this, and so I saw it, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool, the balloon, the cement." And then I made it bigger, and I was like, "Oh, you can actually see his face in the balloon. That's a sweet poster." Then the trailer dropped, and I loved it. I mean, it, we saw a lot of Pennywise. We got to see Pennywise in action at the end, and yes, a lot of Pennywise is like maybe 15 seconds worth but it's an interesting spin on the original source material because it doesn't appear that these kids are going to become adults in this movie like it did in the novel or it did in the previous adaptation which is fine with me if this helped inspire Stranger Things to some degree, then Stranger Things can help inspire the new It to some degree, and I'm totally fine with it. I like what I saw. It looks scary. It looks intense. It looks faithful enough to the original that hardcore fans of Stephen King's novel are going to love it. I think it might bring in new fans as well who just want to eat a lot of popcorn and be terrified of Ronald McDonald. You know, as somebody who's been a little skeptical about the project and the movie, and honestly, I still am skeptical Rightfully about, so. about the movie, this poster and this trailer are outstanding. I, the poster, first of all, it says it all in one frame. I love posters that do that, that kind of communicate the whole spirit of the movie in one frame. And that, to me, does it. That is a beautiful, wonderfully conceived poster. I dig it, both from a symbolic point of view and just a literal translation point of view. I think it's great. And the trailer, I wish I came walking out of my office while... Uh, Wendy and Natasha were sitting down at the table watching it, and I wish I had my camera, my phone on me. Because the look on, I was sitting on this, I was standing on this side of the laptop, they were facing this way, and all I could see was their faces like this, and I just wish I had my camera. But it, it is a creepy trailer. It's clearly just part one of what was in the television miniseries, so clearly they're gonna do more after this, provided it does okay. I thought the trailer was great. The poster's great. Color me very, very impressed. What about you? I'm with you guys. I thought it was amazing. I loved the the, the original the television movie when it was out, and it was. And I always felt. I think a lot of people felt this. The first half was great. Second half was okay. Um, the, I loved the adult stuff. Obviously, the, the actors, John Ritter, and everybody that was in the the movie. But the second half kind of fell off. What you just said, maybe they will make a, a sequel with them as adults. Maybe that's what this, the sequel is with them later on. I think that's actually a really great idea. I hadn't even thought about that. Um, the poster, though, is brilliant. It's one of if you ask, if we were doing something like, what are your favorite posters of the year? It's probably my favorite poster of the year. Yeah, for that's, sure that was going on my wall. It's great when you look at it at first and you see the balloon, you say, oh, it. And then when you, oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, Pennywise is behind there, and this kid is staring up at it. Like, it's terrifying in the best way possible. The only thing, it's not a concern I'm just curious about because they seem to be doing, taking, there's a little bit of a difference from obviously the television movie. Tim Curry had a bit of humor to him also, almost had like that kind of Freddy thing that he had. There was the way that he played it. There was this humorous bit of the clown. Is it just going to be a straight up terrifying clown and getting rid of any of the, the humor, which I'd be okay with, whatever the representation of Pennywise is this time around. But I, I agree. I, I saw the Stranger Things kind of um, influence in there. Obviously, this came first, but still, it, it probably definitely influenced. You have a cast member from the damn show in there. But I'm loving it, man. I love what, I, what I'm seeing so far. I can't wait to see it. And it's a good release date. September 8th is normally when you get some garbage right there. So maybe you get a nice bit of uh, a really good horror film. I want to go over because I, I mentioned I saw you guys watching. Wendy, what did you think about the trailer? Oh, it brought me back to uh, my mom actually showed the TV series to me when I was younger. She was like, oh, you can enjoy it. It's great. And afterwards, it's clown. I was <laughs> terrified of clowns. And I was like, well, I'll never ask for a clown for my birthday. That's for sure. She just saved herself a lot of money on birthday parties. No, I liked it. I really didn't think Pennywise actually looked as scary as I thought it would be. I thought the Tim Curry version was scarier, but the last um, bit of him, the last bit scare uh, in the final scene of the trailer I was like, okay, that's that's it right there. But um, I was I was like, Dash, oh, this is so sad. when the red balloon went by, I, I couldn't deal. I was like, this is all coming back. My childhood, all the fears, it came back, and 
I don't like clowns, so. Natasha, what about you? So scary. I'm just here shaking my head like no to the whole movie. Um, you know, I was super young when the original came out, so I don't really remember watching it, but I do remember the scene when the little boat goes by in the drain mm -hmm. and then you see the clown. And it did bring me back, and I thought, I remember being afraid of sewer drains and thinking that I would see something <laughs> just from, you know, the movie being so iconic. So definitely this teaser sucked me right in from the beginning. I think all clowns are scary. So I think this it was actually scarier than the original oh, okay. from my memory. Um, and I'm super into seeing um, the actor from Stranger Things in this. I think it's going to be really cool. And, you know, John, Wendy brought up birthday parties. Surprisingly, Pennywise, very affordable rate for your kid's <laughs> birthday party. He's a famous clown, but it's not that expensive. And it's funny because as I was walking by the board table where they were watching it, I don't know what point of the trailer they're at, but all, like, while well, Wendy's face was like, <laughs> like, Natasha, I, like, seriously, it was funny because I'm walking by Natasha just shaking her going, nope. Yeah, nope. the whole nope. time I'm like, nope. I do this thing where I try to tunnel vision myself. Like I watch like this because it's going to make it less scarier when I do this. I don't know.